Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red. We are now in Cerulean City and we're gonna go to the Pokemart and get some Pokeballs and I don't know what else, but that guy just came right at my life. Yeah, we're gonna get a third Pokemon for the team. If you saw the thumbnail, you could probably guess that it's Abra. And Abra's a fucking beast in this game. It's, it's Final Evolution Alakazam is one of the most threatening Pokemon in the game. And like, I really mean that when I say it's threatening because it's in the Pokemon game, or in Gen 1 at least. Yeah, just exclusively in Gen 1. Like, special attack and special defense are the same stat. So if a Pokemon like Alakazam has a high special stat, it means, like, you have to hit it physically, otherwise you won't be doing too much damage to it. But, like, most Pokemon that attack physically have low special. So that means an Alakazam, like, something like an Alakazam, could just, like, Oko it immediately, because, like... Oh, guess who has a high special stat? Uh, not you. And then, like, Alakazam's pretty fast, too, but... Uh, that's not a problem yet, I mean, uh... Otherwise, I think every other Pokemon in this game, outside of Legendaries, and maybe, like, Dragonite, isn't super threatening, but Alakazam's special stat is just too good to, like, ignore. And I guess maybe Gengar would be threatening, too, although... It is weak to moves like Earthquake and stuff, like, like Alakazam doesn't have any real weaknesses. Or just psychic types in general in this game. Like, the dark type doesn't exist, there's just ghost and bug. And I don't know if there's any, like, ghost type moves, I don't think Shadow Ball existed just yet. I think really the only ghost type attack is, like, Nightshade. But that attack only does whatever, like, the damage output is whatever your level is. So if Rocketer were to use Nightshade, it would do 19 damage no matter what. And then bug type attacks, there's, like, I mean, there's quite a few Bug-type Pokémon, but, like, not a lot of Bug-type attacks. I don't know if Megahorn is in this game. But, uh, I mean, there's, like, Megahorn, Twin Needle... And that actually might be it. I think it's just, like, those two Bug-type attacks. Um, I guess Leech Life, but that is a very weak attack. Not in the newer games. But, yeah, we're going against, uh, Tapioca. Just a little surprise battle. I remember this battle being so hard when I was like a noob at Pokemon and I would like just have my Blast- or not Blastoise, but like my War Turtle. Like, like once you get to Ivysaur, it's like, ah oh, shit. So it's like, oh, just have a bird type Pokemon with you. There you go. And like when I was making this team, like, I mean, this is a pretty practical team for uh, in game purposes. Because, like, I mean, right now I have a Water type and a Flying type. And I'm going to be getting a Psychic type, and then I might as well just spoil, like, the last type will be Electric. There's, like, five options for an Electric type. I already skipped over Pikachu. I was really considering doing Pikachu, or it's developed on Raichu. But, um, on my last playthrough of Pokemon Red, which I started, like, I think that was six years ago. That's crazy. Um, I did, like, my team in this playthrough is, like, almost identical to that team, except that I'm not using a full team of six. Um, the Pokemon in that file, I, it doesn't really matter if I spoil stuff, I guess. The, the Pokemon in that file, I had... Well, I'm just going to say the ones I used in that one that I won't be using in this one. Which would be a Slowbro and Dragonite. Uh, Dragonite, I don't think I was, like, intending on using that one when I started that file. It was just like, you know what, let's just use a Dragonite, because I've never used one before. I don't remember if I got one at the Safari Zone, or if I gambled at the casino for a long time. It was probably at the Safari Zone. Let's be real here. And then, I think... It just took me, like, way too long to, like, raise it into a Dragonite. But I, I eventually did. And then it was kind of useless, because the Elite Four... Is, like, exclusively weak to five type attacks. Which would be, like, Water... Ground, Ice... Psychic and Electric. Like, as long as you have, like, one Pokemon with an elemental attack of those five, like, you're pretty good. Because, like, Slowbro is it's Water and Psychic, and then I happen to give it, like, either Ice Beam or Blizzard and Earthquake, and so, like, Slowbro was pretty much just taking down everyone. Like, he, he was taking names, and, like, Slowbro has always been one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't really get to use it too often, because... Like in uh, Red, for example, I use Blastoise, and I don't want to have two water types. Although, it's not like a big deal if I do. There's just way too many water type Pokemon in Gen 1 that I just really like. I mean, like, 
I like Blastoise, I like Slowbro. I have, like, recently grown a cult following for Kingler, the crab Pokemon. I'm like, Kingler's not very good. I think it's exclusive to Blue? I, I could be wrong. I don't think I see any on this playthrough. Or, like, any Krabbies. Although I don't really get a fishing rod in this game. I think you can have to catch it one with the fishing rod. But, yeah, like, uh, I like Kingler now, although its attacks are kind of shit. But, uh, I guess I could talk about that. Like, on uh, Pokemon Soul Silver, they got the Pokeathlons, which is, like, my favorite mode in any Pokemon game. Um, <laughs> where, like, you just do, like, little mini games with your Pokemon. And, like, I was, like, I always play with my sister when we do that, but we don't do that anymore because she's moved out. But, like, like, one time, like, okay, so she just, like, uses the legendary she got from, like, fucking GameStop and, like, downloading and whatever. I think it's just, like, like, Celebi and, like, the shiny dogs and then, like, Jir I don't know if she got Jirachi. She probably did. And then, like, Arceus, I think she transferred. But, like, because she hasn't beaten that- I mean, she got to, like, the 8th gym. Or she beat the 8th gym. I don't know if she beat the Elite Four. She has never beat the Elite Four in any Pokemon game. She's gotten pretty close a couple times, but she usually just, like, stops playing Pokemon, like, entirely before those ever happen. Like, I don't even know if she bought Sun or Moon, because, like, that was... Well, wait, did she move out yet? No, she wasn't out yet, but, like... Like, I... I knew she wasn't, like, as interested in Pokemon anymore, so, like... I don't know, I, I still think she got it, though. I don't know. Because, like, we were still, like, talking about it. Like, I don't even know why she buys the Pokemon games. Like, like we got uh, Black 2 and White 2, and, like, we both only played that for, like, two hours. And then, uh, I, I think I played a bit more afterwards. But then, like, she got Pokemon White. I don't even know how far she got into that. Um, probably not very far at all. I'd actually like to find out, actually. Um, I know in, I'm just going in reverse order, like, in Heart Gold, she got to, she beat Claire. I remember, like, there was one week where she was like, I'm gonna, like, play a shit ton of Pokemon. And, like, yeah, I don't think she got to, like, Kanto yet, but she did get all eight badges. And then, what was it, like, in Pearl she had... I... I don't know if she got to Victory Road, but I know for a fact she did get all eight badges, because, like, we were playing Diamond and Pearl, like, non-stop back when we got those. Dude, that might be the furthest she's ever gone in a Pokemon game, is with Pearl. And then, uh... And then Leaf Green was the last Pokemon game she had. Um, we were playing that, like, at the same time. That was, like, the first time we played Pokemon games at the same time. I mentioned that a bit, I think, last episode with, like, Silver and Gold. But, yeah, it started with Fire Red and Leaf Green, and I don't remember if she got through Rock Tunnel on her own, or if I had to help her, but um, I think once we both got to, like, Cinnabar Island, then we just, like, stopped, because we didn't know how to get to the damn gym, and I'm, I'm going to be talking about that probably when that episode comes. But, like... Yeah, just, like, navigating this map was always annoying. Like, I mean, I guess I could talk about Cinnabar Island. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, when I first got this copy of Red... Well, actually, I have two copies now. I'm, I'm using the the second one, because, um... A few months ago... So I've been using, like, Shop Goodwill quite a bit. Which is, like, an auction site, but it's, like, Goodwill. But it's, like, it's like eBay, but not as many people use it. But you're still not going to be getting, like, an, an amazing deal. Although... I think I got a pretty good deal on, like... I mean, if you're looking for video games, you probably won't be getting, like, a great deal. But, like, I got Super Mario 64 for, like, $26, which... I don't even play it. But, I thought that was a good deal. Until I found out the shipping was, like... Okay, well, it was, like... $16, and then the shipping was, like, $10. So I'm like, like, oh, man, the shipping's $10. Like, shoot, did I get a bad deal? And then, like... On GameStop, the price for Super Mario 64 went up, like, $10, like, just, like, all of a sudden after I bought that, so I'm like, hey, it was a good deal, or something, hopefully. But, um, I oh mean, I'm gonna, like I said, my mouth's getting stinky from talking for, like, an hour straight, although I said that, like, at the beginning of last episode, when it was only half an hour. Because, like, I'm kind of sick, I mean, like, last week, 
Okay, so I usually get sick all the time, and this entire school year, I didn't get sick, like, at all. Like, just once, like, in, like, late October. And then, like, I just did not get sick at all, and then now, I wouldn't say I'm sick, but, like, when I wake up and before I go to bed, like, my throat just gets, like, super sore. And then, like, I'm getting, like, snot in my throat, which I don't think there's, like, anything I can really do about that. I mean, there probably is, like, I, I think I've talked about this before, but, like, apparently, like, grilled cheese and, like, tomato soup is, like, one of the number one options doctors, quote-unquote doctors, say to, like, get rid of a common cold. But, like, that sucks for me, because I hate tomatoes and I hate cheese. Like... Like, I, I'm a pick eater, I've mentioned this, like, multiple times, but, like, like, I just hate, I, I think I tried ketchup, like, once, and I was like, nope, and I hate the smell of ketchup, like, like, we don't have it on the table as much since my sister's moved up, but, like, she would, like, probably, like, bathe herself in ketchup if she had the option to, <laughs> and, like, just the smell of ketchup is just awful to me. Like, sometimes when we're having supper, like, I will eat my food as fast as I can, just so I can, like, go away from the terrible smells of food. And then, like, I just, I don't like cheese. Um, it has to be, like, the right temperature and the right texture. Like, if it's too gooey, I don't like saucy kind of foods. So, like, it, like if the cheese is too solid, I don't like it, but if it's, like, too gooey, I don't like it either. So, like, when I'm putting, like, a fucking pizza in the oven, like, most people, they'd probably take it out when it's, like, kind of, like, a golden color, but, like, still kind of yellow, yellowy-orange. Like, I'll wait for it to be, like, fucking, like, dark brown. Because, like, you know, the center of a pizza takes forever to cook. So, like, yeah, I'll keep that in longer. Like, the, the sides might get burnt a bit, but it's all worth it to me. I kind of like the taste of, like, moderately burnt pizza, if that makes any sense. But... Yeah, like, sometimes I'll be, like, making a pizza, and if it's, like, not in there long enough, like, the center won't taste very appealing to me. And then, like, I just gotta, like, put it back in, or put it in the toaster oven or something, and, like... Yeah, that's how my picky eating goes, but, like... Man, when I was, like, in primary school... I, it, it's so weird, like, that no one else calls it primary school, except for, like, in Europe or something. <laughs> like, my private school called elementary school, primary school. I don't know if it's because we didn't have fifth grade in the same building as the first through fourth. But it doesn't matter now because the school is renamed and like I think kindergarten, maybe even preschool through eighth grade are all in the same building. Because like no one's enrolling into private Catholic school in town anymore. I mean people are still like popping out babies. Like you don't have to worry about that. But like, and apparently like, like I don't go to church either unless it's like Christmas or Easter, but it's still packed, like, don't worry those two times. But then again, like, that's probably when all the, like, non-churchgoers go. But, like, I don't know, I, just no one going to Catholic school anymore. Like, my grade had, like, 50 students in it, and apparently, like, in the current years, like, it's a miracle they can even get 50 kids in, like, four grades combined. And, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think about it too much. But, I mean, Catholic school, man. I, I like talking about, like, my old school days. I don't have too many stories anymore. Uh, mainly because, like, memory lost. But, like, nothing really, like, incredible happened. I mean, like, like what, what's a story I could say? Like, I'm trying to think of, like, I guess third grade out of, like, just any year. Like... Like, my homeroom class had, like, a shit ton of chairs, um... Like, she had, like, some Archie comics, like, that was pretty cool. Like, you knew that the, like, the best school classrooms were the ones that had, like, like, chairs in it. I mean, like, we had our desks and our, like, desk chairs, and, like, those were cool and all, but, like... Like, the third grade classroom had, like, camping chairs, where, like, you had fold them together or whatever, put them inside a bag, and then you can put that bag on your back, or in a car, or whatever, and, like, uh, if you remember the movie Over the Hedge, <laughs> the chairs were, like, sponsored by Over the Hedge or something, like, because, you, you know how it is, like, you got, like, your, your, uh, 
graphic shirts with like whatever TV show on them. It's just like a chair with the t with the movie on it. And like uh, th those were cool. And then like my fourth grade classroom had uh, bean bag chairs in the corner. It's always kind of crazy thinking like all these schools with books in them because like I don't read anymore today and like I don't remember like what kind of chapter books the teacher had. I remember like uh, in, like in fourth grade reading that was like my worst class ever. Like like if I were to like rank how well I did in like Catholic school or like private school between like like excluding I guess preschool and kindergarten because like those are just like a different level because like. You're not really doing classes, you're just doing activities. And like... Like, I think 2nd grade and 7th grade were like my prime years. And then like 3rd grade would probably be like a tier right below that. And maybe even 1st grade, I don't remember 1st grade very well. Um, but then like 4th grade... That was just like... I think I just became stupid. It was just, like just my writing class. Maybe I was like also focused on like juggling band in there because that was like the first year band was available. But um, just for a second here, we're naming Abra Lee Cuisine, um, as in like Lean Cuisine. But like on my other file of red, I had. Oh, yeah, I was talking about that. We'll get to that later if I remember. But like uh, I had my Abra, I named uh, Lee Yen Chi because I was uh, I caught it when I was at my grandma's house and like she had. Like Ninja Warrior, I don't know if it, yeah, it must have been Ninja Warrior, and like one of the players' names was uh, Li Yen Chi, and I'm like, hey, you want to be a fucking Abra? Why not? And it's like, oh, that's kind of racist because Abra has squinty eyes, but uh, shit. <laughs> but hey, don't worry, we got uh, the evolved form Li Cuisine, because uh, once Abra evolves, he gets spoons. But yeah, I, mean, I guess ranking my uh, school grades. I'm like not even talking about college anymore because like last episode I was like talking about my online courses. I could have talked about the physical courses. I mean, I still have uh, like at least 12 minutes, about 15 even. Oh no, I have way more than 15. Um, because this is a very long episode. I don't remember this route taking as long as it did, but I, um, just a fun fact: this uh, I actually re-recorded this episode because like um. Fucking Karate Chop. It kept critting me. I didn't realize it has a high crit rate. But, like, every single time it hit me, it crit. And, like, it, it shouldn't have, like, a 90% chance to crit me, but it did. I think, like, whenever a Karate Chop would hit Rocketer, it wouldn't be critical. But whenever it would hit fucking Spiro, it just crit every time. And, like, I, I think I whited out, like, twice because of Karate Chop crits. And that really upset me. There's a trainer later on in this route who has a slowpoke. And, like, my team isn't prepared to go against the Slowpoke, because, like, um, I have nothing super effective against it. And, like, its its stats are just, like, too good for, like, this point in the game, I think. Eh, it's just me. I mean, you can get a Slowpoke on the first route in fucking Sun and Moon, but uh, that's none of my business. But, yeah, ranking, uh, grades. I mean, like, 5th and 6th grade were kind of rough for me, just because, like, fifth grade, like, literally my best friend, like, broke up with me. It's weird, because, like, like, I mean, like, there's a, let's say there's an even number of people on the planet, like, like, technically speak, or, like, mathematically speaking or whatever, like, that means everyone has, like, an equal chance of being someone's best friend, but it's weird, because, like, it doesn't, it doesn't happen like that, like, some people just don't have friends at all, <laughs> or, like, they don't have, like, a best friend, I guess I'd say. And then there's other people who are, like, multiple people's best friends. So, like, my best friend was probably, like, a few other people's best friends. I know he was, like, one other kid's best friend, but, like... Like, yeah, it's just, like, uh, I guess I started hanging out with some other kid. <laughs> this is getting kind of personal, but, like... Yeah, I was hanging out with, like, some other kid a bit more, like, at the end of fourth grade. And then, um... I was, like, we were still, like, tight, though. And then, like, he had a... He had me, like, sleep over on, like, New Year's Eve once, and, like, he wanted to, like, okay, we were, like, up until fucking, like, 3 in the morning, because, like, he wanted to, like, keep playing games to keep me awake. It's like, dude, it's 3 in the morning, I want to go to bed. Like, I don't even know when my parents want me home, because, like, I mean, I was, like, only 9? I was, yeah, I was, like, 9 years old or something, and, like, 
uh, I guess I snitched on him uh, to his mom. It was just like she was like, "Oh, like how was how was last night for you boys?" And then like, because like uh, we were we act like one of his neighbors actually had like a new like a block party, and like I had no business being there, but like like yeah, like my friend's family just went there, and then like I just tagged along, and like me and my friend hung out with like the other kids that were there, and like. Uh, actually, I want to kind of talk about that, because, like, their, like, I got, I don't know why we really just allowed there, but, like, their parents' bedroom had, like, a storage area inside, and I've never, like, seen this before. Apparently, like, rich neighborhoods have this more often, because, like, the kid lived in a rich neighborhood, and I just live in a middle-of-the-road neighborhood, I guess I'd say. Um, but, yeah, like, his parents had, like, a storage room in their closet, and it was, like, a square hole on the floor. I don't know if, like... I don't remember how big it was, but it was, like, kind of small, but, like, once you were inside, then, like, you still had, like, it was about, like, three feet high, so, like, you still had to, like, crouch or, like, kneel or something. But, like, yeah, that shit was, like, deep, like, like, uh, I'm trying to, think. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, how big it was and, like, describing it with, like, a building area. I guess I'd say, um... I don't know how many targets have cafes, but it was like the size of like the floor that you can like walk around at like a targets cafe. Maybe even bigger than that. I'm like, like where is this house getting the space? Like I know that the like there was probably a point in the house where like, there were like a few steps, and so I guess like just like that space under the steps is like that storage area. But like that was kind of crazy, and then like they just had like a Super Nintendo and like 30 million games, just like hanging out in one spot. We didn't play any of the games, though, because of the... I guess they moved the TV in there whenever the kid wants to, like, do a sleepover. It's, it's kind of weird, though, like, if you want to do a sleepover in the fun room, you have to go through your parents' room first. And it's like, uh, well, there's... Where's the bathroom? I don't remember if that house had, like, a bathroom attached to the parents' bedroom. Because I know a lot of rich houses like to have a bathroom with two doors in it, where, like, one door goes to a bedroom and the other door goes to the hallway. I know, like, my friend's house had that. And, like, that was kind of weird. I mean... Um... Yeah, I mean, rich houses are always, like, cool to just go through, because, like... The room, like, just the way that the architecture is, is just so fascinating to me. I mean, like... Like, usually the basement is always gonna be, like, a huge room with, like, extra rooms on the side. But like, like my like this friend's house, like, like his basement was like, like I mean, like literally from one wall all the way to the next, it was just like, no, I mean there were like kind of like there weren't support beams, but like, I, mean, I don't remember the design anymore. I couldn't like break into his house either because like we don't talk anymore. But like. Like, yeah, the, the, the fucking, like, living room lounge kind of area in the basement. And then, like, on the other side, there was, like, a whole entire, like... I don't remember if it was, like, a... Like, he had, like, a fucking... Like, poker table, but if you flipped it around, it was kind of like a pool table. But it was, like, an a, a octagon or something. I don't know too much about those, but, like, that was kind of cool. And then I think he had, like, a ping pong table or something. Some some weird table, and like you'd like move that aside, and then like some weird bowling ski ball thing, and then and then just next to that there was a giant room with like game boards and shit, and like like it must be nice being fucking like rich and privileged and stuff, like like damn, like that what a nice fucking house, and then like you go to my house and it's just like we don't have like okay we got like twenty game boards, and then. I mean, like, really, none of that matters, because, like, when you're a kid, like, you don't you don't think about, like, how privileged you are. It's just like, well, I mean, you kind of do, but, like, like, we went to his place to play GameCube, but we went to my place to play Nintendo 64. Like, that's how it balanced out. And, like, I didn't even know that the GameCube was, like, the evolved form of the Nintendo 64. I just thought that, like, there were multiple gaming consoles where you could, like, just play fucking, like, Mario or something on them. Like, I didn't know that Mario was exclusive to Nintendo. I thought, like, Mario was just, like, a fucking, like, game, game company. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, man. Fuck him. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm just talking about this fucking kid. Like, 
Like, the way our relationship broke up was, like, uh... Like, it started with, like, I, I was hanging out with this other kid, who I guess no one really liked. And, like, apparently... Apparently, like, uh... His... Like, it's, like you know, like, at school, they're always, like, calling your parents about shit. But, like, you never really know about it, because, like, you're just oblivious to life. As a child. But, like, I guess... I don't know if they were, like, calling my parents, but like, hey, can your kid hang out with this kid? Or if it was just, like, during a conferences thing. But they were, like... I remember, like, in first grade, like... I don't want to use their names at all, but, like, I don't, I'm not even giving them a fake name. Well, let's just go with, like, uh... The first kid's name was, like... Greg, and the second kid's name was Connor. I don't know, a single Greg or Connor. Um... But, like... Yeah, like, Greg, like, we were fucking tight, like, we were friends since kindergarten, and then, like, in first grade, Connor would just, like, follow me, it was, like, just really weird, because it's like, what do you want? Like, he wasn't very, like, social or anything, and, like, um, I mean, like, that was also, like, his first year at that school, because, like, I don't know, you went to kindergarten somewhere else, is what I'm saying. Like, 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 80% of our grade in first grade went to the same kindergarten place, is what I'm saying. But, like, I guess uh, during, like, a conferences or something, like, one of the teachers was like, like, oh, Connor likes to follow your kid, like, maybe he should be friends with him or something, because he doesn't have any friends, so it's like, I don't remember my parents told me that, because, but, like, <laughs> I guess my sister knew about that, because, like, she just brought it up randomly, like a, like, a few weeks ago when I got to see her. But, like, um... Yeah, I don't know, like, in second grade, me and Connor were, like, kind of friends, like, I would love drawing, like, fake Mario Party maps and stuff, and then, like, we would just, like, fucking, like, pretend that the Mario Party map was, like, a treasure map or something. Like, we wouldn't, like, actually play Mario Party, like, like, just during, like, the random play times and, like, recess, like, I would just pull out the map and he would just follow me around, it was, like, kind of, kind of awkward, but, like, kind of cool that I had, like, my little sidekick. And then, uh, like, third grade, okay, like, kind of, kind of, like, strengthening that relationship. And then, like, fourth grade, like, we, like, we were, like, having, like, more classes together. Um, because, like, he was kind of, like, in the, one, like, one level of math below me and, like, one level of reading below me, so, like, we would never really have the same classes. But, I don't know if they, like, do it like that anymore, because, like, I don't know if it was, like, actually, like, a scramble, or if they actually, like, separate kids by, like, their education ability. Um, but, like, we had, like, a shit ton of classes together in fourth grade, and so, like, we were, like, talking a lot more. And then, like, I guess Greg didn't like that, because, I mean, no one, no, like, I don't want to say no one liked Connor, but, like, a lot of people were, like, like, let's just put it this way, like, he was kind of a bully, but he wasn't, like, I, I always like to say, like, like, I made you good, like, I, I was your angel, I was your saving grace. And, like, he will disagree with that, no matter, like, how often I will, like, mention that to him. But, like, like, during winter, like, during recess, like, some of the girls, like, they'll just have, like, a fucking clump of snow and call them their snow babies, and, like, they'll just carry around their snow babies and be like, oh my god, like, we're, we're playing Barbies, but with, oh, like, piles of snow, like, aren't we so funny? And, like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> but, like, what he would do is, like, he would just, like, snatch their fucking snow babies and <laughs> destroy them. <laughs> oh my god, who does that? And, like, it's like, no, you, you can't do that. You, <laughs> you can't destroy girls' snow babies. You, that's just, uh, metaphorically speaking, that's not good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, like, people didn't like him, because he was just, that, that's stuff he did. I don't, I mean, I don't think he was, like, disruptive during class, like, I don't think he was, like, stealing, like, kids, like, markers and shit, but, like, he wouldn't, like, change for other people, I guess I'd say, until, like, I came around and, and saved him. But, like, uh, yeah, I guess, like, in fifth grade, then, uh, Greg, is that the first time I said, yeah, Greg or whatever, like, that he would be, uh, like, like, just very distant from me. It was like, like, something's off. And then, uh, like, one, like his, his other best friend, who I think was his real best friend, I mean, like I said, you can only have, like, one best friend or something, like, 
then, like, so that best friend, he was just like, oh, yeah, like, Greg doesn't want to, like, hang out with you much anymore. It's like, like, oh, so you're, like, breaking up with me by text, pretty much, is what what's going on here. And, like, yeah, like, the, just the rest of fifth grade was kind of awkward. And then sixth grade was awkward, too. I mean, I was hanging out with, like, Connor a lot more. Like, I was actually, like, going to his house, or to his apartment. We'd, like, play Lego Star Wars and stuff all the time, and Animal Crossing. Oh, man, like, those, that was fun. Like, I like I would hang out with Connor, like, more often in, like, the span of, like, two months than I ever did with Greg. Like, just, like, hanging out, like, on weekend, like, on fucking Saturdays and Sundays. Because, like, what we would do with, like, me and Greg would be, like, like, oh, like, in September, like, okay, we'll go to his place, and then October we'll go to my place, and then, like, just, like, keep going back and forth every month. And, like, yeah, that's how that was. But, yeah, I'm not even talking about Pokemon, I'm just, like, talking about shit. Like, this, this is, like, the podcast Let's Play. Um, will I talk about Pokemon in the next episode? I don't know, I still want to talk about college stories and stuff. That would be pretty nice. This episode still has, like, four minutes to it. Uh, so, I guess we could talk about college a little bit. Um, I have, like, three other classes, other than my two online courses I talked about last episode. And so, that was, like, a, uh, a writing class, and then, like, a video game philosophy class, and, like, a tourism ethics class. And, like, the, the video game philosophy class, like, you think that's gonna be cool, but it's just, like, it's just philosophy with, like, examples from Mass Effect. Because, like, okay, we had, like, this textbook, and, like, the, the only review of it on Amazon was just the two words, pure rubbish. <laughs> and, like, when I read it, it was okay. I didn't read, like, the whole book. Like, I read, like, the first, like, five chapters, and then during the quizzes, I was, like, the quizzes were open book. I would just, like, skim to where the question was in the book then. But... Um, that class was okay, uh, the topics were interesting, although the way that, the class was like two and a half hours straight, and like, so we would just play this game called, like, Agree, Disagree, so like, the, the teacher would give like some philosophical proposition or something, like, like, uh, people are naturally good, like, so you have to like walk over to which side you agree on. Or, uh, oh yeah, I'm fast forwarding now. Yeah, this battle took forever. Okay, but, um, then if you, like, don't know if people are naturally good, then you just stand, like, in the middle, or, like, stand close to, like, what side you kind of want to agree with, or disagree with. And, like, um, then, like, the teacher would, like, kind of call on you and, like, be like, oh, what do you think? Or, like, you could just, like, she'd be like, ask a question, and then, like, the four of you would be like, uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I don't know. Um, redoing that battle. How much time I have left? Two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Um, and then, like, my tourism class, it just turned out to be, like, a fucking philosophy class, because, like, we talked about the same people and, like, the same terms and stuff. Although, that one was a lot easier. I mean, like, the assignments took longer to do, because, like, they, the, I mean, kind of, like, the teacher gave us, like, like, 10 to 20 pages to read, like, every single day. And then, like, it would just be, like, a, like, two or three question paper. But, like, the, the teacher didn't care too much about, like, if we read it or not, I guess, because, like, I didn't read any of the chapters. I would just skim to, like, find the question, kind of. As I mentioned with, like, the philosophy class and that open book stuff, but, like... Like, yeah, like, you just kind of, like, don't read the book, and then the teacher was like... Like, there is no correct answer, and, like, ethics and stuff is such a tough topic to, like really, like, narrow down, like, a correct, like, answer for anything. So then, like, I would just get, like, 100% on every assignment, and then, like, class discussion would be pretty easy, because you could, like, usually guess what a good answer would be. Because, like, I mean, like, once you're 19 years old, you can, like, kind of, kind of understand what ethical stuff is. Like, okay, like, don't shoot people. Like, oh, okay. I mean, obviously, that's not, like, any of the questions that would be there, but... I mean, like, just have that mindset where, like, just people want to be good, but, like, you want to, like, you know, you want to help, like, the people that need the most help, but, like, you also want to help yourself, and, like, that's why the world sucks, because, like, 
And I don't see that sucks. Because, like, then you got people on, like, the outside, they're, like, they, they don't even, like, have the power to make that decision. And they're like, you should be making this decision because you're already rich. It's like, bitch, you don't know me. And I'm like, eh, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I think the rich should, like, give money, but, like, I don't know. I don't give money. I'm, I'm a terrible person. But, yeah, that's really it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Red. We'll probably talk about school a bit more in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like as well if the channel grows. Subscribe if you have to to my uploads as soon as they happen. Bye bye